We're at the Indy Racing League today in the electronics lab. And you can see we brought Thor home from our last crash lab test. This dummy is known as a Thor, uh, which test stands for Test Device for Human Occupant Restraint. Thor was designed as a production car crash test dummy. Typical G loads are 20 to 30 Gs. Our injury criteria in the Indy Racing League is 70 Gs. So we actually crashed Thor and our rearward impacts at 70 Gs. Um, Thor is kind of unique in the fact um, that he's been made more human-like, more biofidelic, if you will. We had him built of some very specific dimensions. He weighs approximately 160 pounds and is just under six foot tall. And that loosely um, puts him in the middle of the average of our driver's height and weight. Um, another thing we do that's very important to make testing more realistic, we use one of the helmets exactly as the drivers wear, and of course, the uh, mandated Hans device. Now you notice the targets. When Thor is put in place prior to a test, you'll notice the, what's called the coordinate measuring machine, which is the big arm that comes out. They can measure his position on the sled buck very precisely, basically by going point to point. Post-accident, in the data processing, what they can do is they can actually track how the body and helmet move. So we can actually get reports of any target we have on it. In the Indy Racing League, we do crash quite often in rearward accidents. So with the help of our doctors, um, we've had Thor modified to include several load cells that are unique. What a load cell does is measure the compressive loads. So the neck one's easy to see. If you were to squeeze him like this, a force would be applied to that device. Um, it electronically turns that force into signals. You can see the cable running. We can tell how much his head moves and with what force. All the drivers in Indy Racing League wear ear accelerometer ear sensors. Um, Thor has the same type of sensor in him, so we can measure the data during the crash sled test and correlate those to real life crashes on the racetrack. The spine is made up of a bunch of rubber donuts and metal disc to try to simulate a human's vertebra. Um, that allows him to flex. The blue box is the actual onboard computer that's contained within Thor's body. Uh, the data acquisition system on Thor is capable of 28 to 132 channels, I believe. The Indy Racing League specification has him using about 60 of those channels. Post-test, we will plug a computer in, download the data, and it gets put into a program to draw the graphs for us and stuff. You can see, although Thor is known as a crash test dummy, he's a very sophisticated test instrument. Here at the Indy Racing League, we're lucky to own one and do experiments to make our drivers safer.